Well, good afternoon, sweet friends. Thank you for joining me today at Jen's Merrimack Valley Home. And today we're looking at, or I guess I should say this week, we are going to be looking at some herbal teas. And some of these are from the um, herbs that I got out of my garden. And uh, but the one we're going to do today is turmeric tea. And turmeric tea is um, got a lot of health benefits for you. Um, it's a um, bright, kind of yellow orange spice, and it's commonly used uh, in curries and sauces. But it comes from a root and um, it's been used for medicinal and antioxidant uh, and anti-inflammatory uh, properties for thousands of years. Um, turmeric tea is probably one of the more popular teas that people consume in the herbal tea world. And um, it has a unique but very subtle flavor. And the tea is also a great way to reap health benefits from it. Um, in doing a little research, um, I show that the turmeric tea can actually help ease arthritis symptoms. And boy, could I use that. Um, some days, you know, the hands get really... Um, painful and since I work on a computer all day uh, it, it does um, does flare up but uh, it does have those properties and um, it helps the inflammation and the swelling and um, it also helps us uh, well they say the research that they're doing and they're still researching it but um, they still don't know what really causes Alzheimer's disease. And it seems as though the curcumin found in turmeric may help prevent it. And so turmeric, uh, turmeric antioxidants uh, can prevent damage that can lead to Alzheimer's disease. And even more importantly, uh, it shows that turmeric can reduce uh, the synap uh, synaptic marker um, loss and the accumulation of amyloids uh, linked to Alzheimer development. Um, amongst turmeric's uh, medicinal purposes, uh, the properties include antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties. Uh, it could contribute to help cancer prevention. So the National Cancer Institute has recognized curcumin as an effective anti-carcinogen or a substance that helps prevent cancer. So uh, it can also help with maintaining ulcerative colitis remission. So if you've had a chronic condition of ulcerative uh, colitis, um, you know, in the gastrointestinal uh, tract, turmeric could help with that. So there's a many, you know, there's many, many uses, uh, medicinal uses for that. Um, it can also help you boost your immune system. And I think everybody really needs to um, have that boost to their immune system. We run at such a fast pace and everybody's on the go, 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 go all the time. So, you know, you know, we're up early, we're, you know, people stay up late, you know, and, and burn the candles at both ends. So, um, you know, that runs your immune system down and with all the various uh, getting into the season of different viruses and colds and flu, um, this can help to boost your immune system, um, even with people that have immune disorders. So um, it can help to moderate the, your immune system. 
Um, it also helps to lower cholesterol, um, the LDL or the bad cholesterol. Um, it can help uh, reduce the risk of developing serious complications. Um, that includes heart disease and stroke. Um, so they have did a study on that back in 2008 and found that uh, a low dose of curcumin was associated with reducing the LDL or the bad <laughs> cholesterol uh, levels. So, um, and it also can treat uvitis, which is an um, uh, inflammation of your iris. So, um, so anyway, it has a lot of good medicinal properties. And I think that um, the use of it, um, I mean, it's definitely something, personally, I, would, I don't drink it every day. But now that the weather is going to start changing and we're going to be getting into some cooler days and, or cool, well, definitely cooler nights, I was up about 5.15 this morning, still watering plants that I have out there that I planted, my carrots uh, I planted, and um, they're coming up, the, the little leafy greens on top, are, they've come up through the ground, they're about two, maybe three inches up, and so I was watering those, I still have some um, uh, Jerusalem artichokes uh, that are getting ready to bloom at the top and we're um, getting very near uh, um, to the time when we can harvest those as well. So I was out there just, you know, doing some water because I wasn't for sure if we were going to get any rain today or, or how hot it was going to be. So it ended up being only 81 degrees, which was great. And it is kind of overcast, but we're supposed to get rain tonight. So I'm not going to water tonight. I'll just let um, what God has sent us uh, water uh, the earth. So now we're going to get started. Um, I am going to make two cups of this tea. And it's really best to drink it at night before you go to bed, about an hour before you go to bed, so that, you know, it's kind of a soothing tea. It helps you just kind of relax, and and um, then you're getting all those good benefits, and it, it helps you. So while you're sleeping, and you're in that state of sleep, you know, it can be doing its job. So we're gonna make this tea, and, um, I am going to tell you that I'm going to be using um, the powdered. Um, I don't have the root, but if you were going to use the root, I would say probably one inch of that root to two cups. If you were making four cups, I would probably do, you know, like a two inch piece. Um, it can be kind of strong. So we're going to do that. We're also going to throw in a couple of, of um, black peppercorns because that kind of helps boost that curcumin. So, um, and then after that, once your tea is done, you can add your honey. You can add whatever sweetener you normally like to use. Um, I prefer honey in mine. And we're, I mean, good old lemon. Lemon is good for you, and um, you can squeeze a little bit of that in there and stir it all up and, you know, cuddle up and have you a nice cup of turmeric tea. So I've got my water. I've got my two cups. And um, we're going to get started here. Let's see, I've got everything I need, so we'll get started here in just a minute. Okay, so we've got all of our ingredients to make the turmeric tea. And I wanted to show you this. Um, I bought this from Walmart. Uh, it has a little handy dandy base to it. 
basically it's a heater type base and this is a chefman and it comes with your little diffuser so you can literally make any type of tea in here so what we're going to do first is we're going to put two cups of water in because that's all I'm going to make is just the two cups pour that in about right there okay then to the little diffuser I am going to put a half a teaspoon of turmeric All right, and then my peppercorns. I'm gonna put a couple of these in there. No, maybe, maybe about that many. Three, four, five, there we go. Okay, so then you just put your little your little diffuser in. Let's see if I can get this in here right. And it just kind of sits right there. And you're going to shut your thing. See, it's already turning. And we're going to turn it on and we're going to let it boil. And it will do all this. Uh, let me get a napkin here. I just can't stop making messes some days. So while that is coming to a boil, and you notice it turns blue around here, and it's going to bring this to a boil, and it'll automatically shut off when it's done. So what I'm going to do is let this come to a quick boil. Um, it only takes a few minutes. Uh, we can watch it if you like so you can see how it works. I will put the link to this um, in the description box so you'll know how to get a hold of it if you like it and would like to uh, purchase it for your own but uh, once it gets going it really 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 boils so you can see it's it's starting to boil and I think it's just a neat little teapot It's just really boiling, and I really like that. It's just quick and easy. Much better to me than a teapot on the stove. Although some people do like the teapot on the stove, and I have no qualms against that. Now see, it's turned itself off. The tea is basically done. And you can see that beautiful yellowish golden color of the turmeric. And so we're just going to let that sit and cool down. And then once that is cooled down, I'm going to put it in this jar because um, I can put this in the refrigerator, you know, put my lid and seal on it, put it in the refrigerator, and then I can just warm it up later uh, and then have some for uh tomorrow as well. So that is easy as turmeric tea, as they say. So um, 
that's all there is to it. And like I said, you can just add any, um, you can add honeys, any sweeteners, lemon, however you prefer your tea. But that's all there is to that. We got some beautiful turmeric tea here. So we're just going to let that cool down. Okay, so I thought today I would kind of combine something else with uh, this because it's going to take a while for this other um, recipe we're going to do uh, to basically cure and infuse. So what we're going to make is plantain salve. And the plantain um, leaf is excellent for treating all manners of, of uh, wounds, bites, cuts, scratches. Um, and it's, it's just good to have on hand. And it reduces, you know, like when you get a mosquito bite or something like that and how it kind of, or we get these little things, I call them no see around here, and, and they'll just itch and scratch and, and you know, make your, make your skin miserable. But um, you put a little bit of that on there, it helps the inflammation, and it helps it to go away more quickly than what it would normally do. Um, now, plantain is people think it's a weed and it kind of looks like a weed. Um, I will put a picture of that <laughs> um, up as well. But, um, and then some people have it in their yards or out on their farms. Um, I do not have any around here. So I had to um, go to my Amazon store and I bought this, um, one pound bag of Star West Botanicals uh, plantain leaf. It's organic. And um, it uh, is already dried, so you don't have to do that. Um, very uh, green mixture. So that's been dried and if you find it in the raw, in the wild, um, you can use that. There's probably 198 different species is what I'm told and what I've learned off of the internet um, of the plantain leaf. Um, so I would, you know, basically there's an app that you can get on your phone to identify different plants and things like that. Um, you know, you might well be worth just having that if you're looking at something and you think, gee, that looks like a plantain, uh, a weed or, or leaf, you know, basically uh, just to make sure uh, because there are many different kinds from what I'm told. Um, this one is also kosher certified. So um, that, that is something else um, that I just wanted to put out there for you all as well. Um, so we're going to start making the salve. And like I said, it, a lot of people use it for just about everything. Um, it's kind of like the equivalent to the old Watkins salve. From a long time ago, people used it on burns, they used it on cuts, wounds, scratches, bites, um, you know, just about anything. My husband actually, um, now that he's getting older, uh, gets, you know, we, people get thinner skin as they get older, so you get the red spots on your skin that kind of break open, and really that's just kind of like the capillaries underneath your skin and they break open. He is diabetic, so it, you know, if he bumps himself, it's very easy to bruise and those, you know, look very purplish. Um, and when he uses that, he rubs some on there and it 
goes away. And so um, it, it, for him, um, he's a believer in this plantain sap. So we're going to make this today. Um, he had tried some at a little shop. Uh, here in Kimswick, Missouri. Uh, we went and visited here recently in such a quaint little town. We really enjoyed it. And um, we went and ate at this really, really nice little restaurant called the Blue Owl Restaurant and Bakery. And if you're ever in St. Louis area, um, especially in the um, Imperial, Missouri area, um, it's kind of a little town tucked away, and it is just so unique. It's got a lot of shops. It's got um, a lot of pl little places to eat and uh, little bed and breakfast places to stay. And um, we stopped at one of the little shop, well, a couple of different shops, but this particular shop had that salve. And I got to speak with the man that that actually made the salve and um, he got me interested in doing that as well. So, um, and he told me that he buys his from a certain place. So um, I didn't know where that was exactly. So I went ahead and found it on Amazon and just bought it from there. But um, this big bag was not in all, you know, I think it was 20 something dollars, but basically, It'll last you a while, and you can make it in little tins or like little, um, the little um, um, ball jars for like little jams. You can just make it in there. So, but the process, there's two ways of doing this, and we're going to, I'm going to tell you how to do both of them. But first of all, we're going to measure out in our, um, ball jar, it's a wide mouth jar, but, um, you know, depending on how much you're going to make of it, um, I'm going to use probably um, a third of a cup of the plantain, crushed plantain leaves, and we're also going to be using olive oil. So about a half a cup of olive oil. And for this sitting, we're going to go ahead and measure that out and get that all in there. And I'm going to tell you both ways of doing that. So um, it's easy and the product, the finished product, you'll love. Okay, so we're ready to make our beginning of the plantain salve. I'm going to do this, the, it's the four week route, which it's going to sit in the olive oil for four weeks. And once a week, we're just, you know, you're just gonna shake it a little bit. And let this plantain, crushed plantain leaf infuse in the olive oil. And we're gonna do this step by step. Um, at the end of this process, um, like I said, you're gonna be very happy with the product. So first of all, we're gonna start out with about a half a cup of some olive oil. And then we're going to do one third of a cup of the dried uh, plantain leaves. And let me get my cup off of here so I can put it in the bag. Bag wants to slip around. So that's about a good one third cup right there. So we're just going to put it in there. And 
we're gonna get rid of that. Push that out of the way. And let's seal my bag up here. You want to make sure get and sealed so it stays fresh. So here we go. We have, I'm just going to kind of swirl it around a little bit. Now that is going to infuse and we're just going to put the lid on it and we're going to leave it sit on the counter for four weeks okay now the other method is if you have a double boiler, um, or if you have just a pot, put some water in it and then another pot on top or a bowl and put um, your one third cup of your dried plantain leaves and then also your half a cup of olive oil um, in a jar like this, okay? And what I would do um, after that is I would place that into some water. You're gonna add some water into the, the, the pot on top, maybe about a half a cup and I would place the jar down in there open. Don't put your lid on it. Just leave it open. Use your, use your lid, your seal, and put that down, you know, in, on, into the pot. Set your jar down on it so it has something between the bottom of the pot and the glass jar. So put your lid down, place your jar down, have it open, and pour your water around it. And then you have water at the bottom of your other pot. So you know the process of a, of a double boiler. So you're gonna bring the water up to a boil and you're gonna let that go for, let's see here. Um, believe um, and you're gonna let that go for about 10 minutes and then you're gonna turn it off and you're gonna let it sit and, and kind of cool down and then basically after that after each of these processes, we're going to take some cheesecloth and we will be going on to the next step because we're going to have to take what's in here at this point in time or out of the other jar that was on the double boiler if you choose to do it that way um, and run it through um, either linen cloth or or your cheesecloth and take the infused oil, pour it in there and strain it and squeeze it out because you don't want the leaves in there, you just want the oil. So that'll be, um, that'll be our next step. And um, we also will be using some beeswax pellets um, to, to make this, um, Salve. So you can see that um, depending on what recipe you, you go with, 
um, and I have to make a correction. Um, for the one that I'm going to just leave out this one here, um, it's going to be 10 days, not four weeks. There is one recipe um, that actually tells you to let it sit for four weeks, which I think is because the longer you sit, the more infused it is. Um, I don't think there's a right or wrong. I think 10 days would probably be good. We're going to experiment with it and see. But um, because this is my first time making this too. But we're going to see how this turns out. So we're going to leave it for 10 days on the counter. And then also on your double boiler, you're going to want to let that steep. You can let it steep up to 30 minutes. Um, basically just let it infuse. Turn it down on warm. Let Don't keep it on boil. Just basically uh, bring it up to the boil and then turn it down, turn the heat down to like a, just a simmer, a really warm, you know, low, low heat. And um, you can just let that infuse for up to 30 minutes. And then what you're going to do um, after, I mean, you can even cut off the heat after 10 or 15 minutes and just throw a warm, you know, like a towel over it, a clean dry towel or a tea towel and just let it sit and it keeps that warmth in. Um, so, um, and, and it's kind of like the longer it sits, the, the more infused it gets. Um, so you want to get as much as those herb properties as possible. Um, now, if you don't want to go through all this, they do have salves all ready to go. Um, and you can buy those at a lot of different places. But, um, of course, you know, um, I'm a DIY person and I like to make my own things. I like to try different things. And this was just something that I thought was very unique. And especially with my husband, when he rubbed that on there the next day, that had just faded out so much. And I thought, wow, you know, that's that's some good stuff there. <laughs> so um, I thought, you know, I'm going to try this. And, you know, I might have to, you know, if this turns out great, then I'm going to make some more batches of it and just have it around and, you know, my give it to my family and let them use it. And uh, we'll just, uh, but we'll see how it goes with this one. So I hope you liked what I had for you today. Uh, as always, I will put the recipes, the links, all of that information down in the description box. If you love these videos, if you really like these videos, it would be so helpful to me if you would just hit that little bell, subscribe, like, and share my videos, and just, um, you know, spread the love around. <laughs> so until the next time from Jen's Merrimack Valley home, uh, we will bid you a good day. Stay healthy and don't let your heart be troubled.